Welcome in everyone. We are live at Media Day here at the 2024 Division I Women's National Indoor Team Championships. And joining me now is the head coach of the Cal Women's Tennis Team. Welcome here to Media Day, Cal coach Amanda Augustus. Coach, welcome to our Thank Media you. Day session. Let's talk first big picture. You guys are back after a year yep. away from this event. How does it feel for the Bears to be back here in Seattle? Yeah, we're just, you know, really happy to be here. Um, we come here decently often uh, mm -hmm. for matches, but, but yeah, just uh, this is such a special event. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that you know our team can experience it mm -hmm. so yeah, no, it's now Big Ten country, actually. So this is foreign uh, grounds for you moving forward, just uh, so you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. But uh, I'm curious. I haven't had the chance to speak with you. By the way, it was a heck of a match in Norman. That was mm -hmm. a really fun one for us to enjoy. For this group, I guess we can just get into it. Given the ups and downs, there are rain delays in your schedule of the last two years. There's still COVID regulations, <laughs> all these different things. What does it mean for this group to get back here in particular? Yeah, no, I, I think it's been a journey, and, yeah. and I think the scripts really learned that just keep working hard and, you know, kind of work your way through challenges, and, and you know, the rewards will come. Mm -hmm. might take a little bit, but, yeah, <laughs> no, I think just really happy because, yeah, last year was, last few years we've had, you know. Um, some things. Some things. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, but, I, you know, I think historically our program's at this event. Mm -hmm. um, most almost most all the time so mm -hmm. just yeah i think it's a um an honor for this group to be here and I'm, I'm just proud because i really feel like they've they've worked their way here mm -hmm. well in that spirit i am curious because for you personally again i'm sure there were times last year where you're like no you're making up that excuse like we're not canceling the match for that and <laughs> let it be so there it was like how frustrating has it been just for you personally to feel like, because as a fan, it feels like for the past two years, we haven't gotten to learn how good your team is for just these most ridiculous circumstances. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I've i now been at Cal 17 years. Yeah. I talked to Jan Brogan, who was my coach, <laughs> who was at Cal the 29 yeah. years before me. And I, I think she she only recounts one winter in her 29 <laughs> yeah. years and then last winter. So yeah, and I think just the hardest part was you know, we try to reschedule something, and then and then it would rain again. And, yeah. You know, I, 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 yeah. Like I said, I, I really feel like it was quite the anomaly of winters, and we tried to catch up, but mm -hmm. it, it's you know we kind of ran out of runway. But yeah. No. Know. Well, again, now we got a new season. Obviously, yeah. more runway for you. And I'm curious. This group with Jess, who's a junior, Katja is a junior. Obviously, Hannah's been around quite a bit as well. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, what's it been like for this group early in the season? Do you feel like you have an older group now? Actually, you know, I don't, I don't feel like <laughs> yeah. I do. I mean, it seems yeah. that way, but yeah, you know, I, I feel like, um, you know, they're all quite young. I, you know, Hannah's, mm -hmm. you know, really, you know, our fourth year, and then and then Valentina and Ivanov, she took the mm -hmm. fall off to play, and so she's back with us. So yeah, I mean, we really kind of only have two seniors, so, mm -hmm. um, and then we have, uh, you know, three new ones, two freshmen and yeah. transfer. So yeah, it almost, it has the feeling of a younger group. So yeah. Um, yeah, they're just a lot of fun to be around, and it's, um, yeah, I enjoy every day being out there at, at practice or matches with them. Yeah, there's definitely a, an energy, a grittiness, and in that match, in Norman in particular, and again, you guys haven't played, no one's played that many matches mm -hmm. yet. Talk to me about the doubles we saw there. We know how important doubles is in a weekend like this. How are you feeling about your team's doubles point today? Yeah, no, I, I, think, um, I think we have three good teams out there. I mean, mm -hmm. I think they've had you know, some great results, uh, you know, our team at one, you know, I think they've lost like two matches mm -hmm. together. So they're pretty confident together. And, um, yeah, I, I think we're prepared at, at all three positions and, you know, we're trying to continually work to play more aggressive and I want to see us win. <laughs> I, I just always personally like, because yeah. everyone tends to associate me as a player with, with doubles a lot, yeah. but so I like, I like it when we win the double point. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, I think, you know, but um, I know everybody here is good, so we've got to just really kind of work our way, and I, I thought we did a good job of that in the, in that Oklahoma match. Yeah, no, it, I, I agree, and, you know, I am curious, centering on that match for a little bit, and just big picture, I guess, and I don't mean this in an intrusive way, but you'll understand the question once I land the punchline. What do you do each morning? Do you drink a cup of coffee, or you just let Lon Mee practice to wake you up? Because the energy, <laughs> the noise, the enthusiasm from that three-set match, like, one of my favorite parts of being here this weekend is perhaps getting to experience that in person. And I'm just curious what that energy is like for you to get to coach. I just, you know, I'm a, I'm a tennis nerd. I think <laughs> you're a tennis nerd. You know, like we love the game and we love the sport. And mm -hmm. I, I think 
one of the most special things about Lon is just how much she loves the game. It's incredible. And and so I, I respect that a lot, and I know her teammates do. And, and so, yeah, she's just such a joy. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a tea drinker. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. after I have my cup of tea, then, yeah, yeah. I will... Happily, you know, Lon will hit all day long, and yeah. that's fine with me. It's it's my favorite thing. Well, again, my last two questions for you here before I let you go. Uh, obviously, again, you've got an experienced group, sort of, but a new group in terms of at this stage. What are you hoping to see your team accomplish throughout the course of this weekend? Um, you know, I, I think the best part is we have fantastic matches all weekend, no matter mm -hmm. what. So we'll just kind of, you know, take it around in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're well aware we're not the favorites, but, you know, I think that's okay. Um, but, yeah, you know, I think... As long as they compete their hardest, which I know they will, and mm -hmm. they represent our program and our university so well, so we'll just kind of take it one day at a time. Yeah, well, looking forward to watching that. My final question, round of 16, you're facing a school you used to be the head coach of. People yeah. don't know, fun yeah. fact, <laughs> one year, of course, you were head coach over yeah. at the University of Michigan. Yes. Obviously, it's the yellow and blue. That's clearly just mm -hmm. your thing. It is. Um, but <laughs> thoughts on that first round match, what it's going to take to get over that one in particular? Yeah, you know, um, they're especially inside, mm -hmm. really, really strong. Uh, a lot of respect for, you know, um, Ronnie and Taryn are good friends of mine. So yeah, they've they've done fantastic. They've played a lot of tough matches in mm -hmm. the last few weeks, so I know they'll be ready to go. So we'll just um, kind of see what the matchups look like tomorrow. And you know, we know we're gonna have to be willing to fight till the very last point, um, doubles and singles. And should be some some great tennis. So hopefully people come come watch. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. The last time I watched your team play a round of 16 at the indoors, no one will forget that 4-3 match with Texas A&M. I actually think Hannah's still playing on court six there. Mm. That tiebreaker's yep. still ongoing. Um, yep. And so, but again, coach, congratulations to your team on reaching this event. And good luck this week. Thank you.